Hey guys, Chris here. So right behind me we have the 2018 Volvo V90 T8 inscription with the exterior styling package. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this car on the exterior and on the interior. Starting off with the exterior, this color is called Electric Silver. And as I said, this has the exterior styling package, which I think makes this car look epic. It takes a very good looking V90 and just, you know, giving it the dot over the eye because this thing just looks so damn classy, so damn beautiful. I do actually think it looks better than the R design actually. I'm a real fan of this styling kit and also these 19 inch wheels which look very very nice and you can see they have this matte gray finish on the inside. I think it just complements the color of this exterior very nicely. So Thor Summer LED lights up front. We have the classic concave grille of the inscription and also these chrome details down here. But you get a different lower spoiler with the styling kit. Also, you know, just chrome details on top of that and then moving over to the side you have the normal inscription chrome strip along the door sills but you also have another chrome strip down below here i think it just complements the look very nicely we're going over to the rear afterwards but the car just fired up we're just going to turn it off just leave the ignition on Sorry about that guys, but it is very cold outside. We're gonna move to the rear lastly, but you know the inscription trim gets these chrome details around the windows as you can see there. You also get chrome details around the door handles. So this car does have a lot of chrome, but I think it's used subtle enough to make it look classy. It's not over the top and then you have a satin chrome finish on the roof rail there so not that shiny you also have the antenna and the gps receiver so from the side the profile with this styling kit the car just sits just a bit lower with the the styling kit and i think it just looks very nice here we have the charging port because this is the t8 hybrid and also the i just love the way you know this hood looks with those you know the, these deep lines and creases running along it looks very nice from the driver's seat and yeah one of my favorite looking cars at the moment i think this is so classy and so stylish so moving over to the rear and as you guys can see this actually doesn't have the tinted windows from the b pillar and back which is a bit odd but i do like the look of that so moving over to the rear one of the best rares of any station wagon in, yeah, ever possibly. I think it looks very, very nice. But you, with the styling kit, you get these quad exhaust tips and you also get this chrome strip on the lower part of the bumper there. And this also has the option, the scuff plate for the trunk. And here we have the T8 badging, all wheel drive, twin engine inscription, and also the V90 badging there the classic Volvo lettering and as I said this is not tinted this rear window and you also have this rather discreet and subtle rear deck lid spoiler so that is the exterior styling guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this styling kit I think it just looks epic I really do like the styling of this car so before we go in and step in and show you guys the interior just want to show you guys Volvo's key design their latest key design if you haven't seen this before where have you guys been I have made a ton of videos on these Volvos this is a bit worn this is a press car that has actually done above 20,000 kilometers which is like a hundred thousand kilometers in a normal car so this key is very worn but which is cool with the inscription trim is that you get this beautiful key which is covered in the same napa leather as the interior and in the same color so if you got this car in a different interior color this key would actually be different in color so but this car has keyless go keyless entry so we're going to put the key back in the pocket and i think the car is running now no i just have the lights on, so I have to remember to take those off but this car is keyless entry so put your thumb or finger there to lock the car you can see the mirrors do unfold you can do these this on every 
door and you just put your hand behind the handle there to unlock the car. Just going to show you guys that you can do that on the rear door like that. Very simple, very easy and then just put your hand behind there to you know unlock the car and the wind mirrors do unfold. So starting off with this door design, this car has the optional leather package which gives you leather on top of the doors, beautiful contrast stitching there. This also has the linear wood option which gives you this beautiful open pour wood and look at that huge slab of wood. I think that's the hugest slab of wood in a car this size that isn't like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. That is very impressive. And then you have this beautiful chrome strip here running along you know, the length of that. And then you have this, this really solid grab handle here which is in metal. And this car also has the optional Barrison Wilkins premium sound system which gives you this beautiful, beautiful speaker grill. You have leather on the inserts, more of that contrast stitching, leather on the armrest here, very softly padded, more of that contrast stitching, leather down here, and also even leather inside the door pockets guys so the only portion of the door which actually is plastic is this which is beautiful soft touch plastic it's rubberized on the inside or also carpeted and then you have a rubberized mat here so when you leave things here and they move around they don't make too much noise also have this plastic speaker grill here this is the base speaker but one of the best quality doors in this class because of these materials are just impeccable this car also has the comfort seats which are adjustable in every direction have massaging function and they are also ventilated as you can see here contrast stitching they're also electrically operated here you have an illuminated scuff plate for the door with Volvo riding on it and I'm just going to step inside because it is really really cold outside guys my fingers are just whoo -hoo, are really freezing we're just going to turn on the ignition here just get some heat running so the first thing you're granted with when stepping into the interior is this 12 inch digital gauge cluster along with the census infotainment system here which is 9.3 inches across but I have a whole separate video on the head up display which is up here I do apologize guys and then this digital gauge cluster and also the census infotainment system please click the link up there in the right corner to see that video I won't be going through that here in this video so on top of the dashboard more of that beautiful stitched leather and you also have the tweeter there the Nautilus tweeter of the Barrison Wilkins premium sound system and more of that beautiful beautiful wood look at that guys I just love the interior design of this car yeah let's also have more wood there I think this is just class leading I know the E-class interior is nice the 5 series interior has really high quality and the new A6 interior is very Bauhaus uh, and cool but I do like this interior the best I think it is the best in materials and best in design it just feels very special look at that all that beautiful wood and usually guys I don't like dark interiors or black interiors especially in winter time in Norway it gets really you know depressing just having everything dark outside it's quarter to three outside guys and look how dark it is outside but this you know, this linear wood and all the chrome tr uh, trim and bits here just lighten it up and just give it, you know, just more pop. I really do like that. So we have the sports steering wheel in this car giving you smooth leather up top, perforated leather on the sides. This also has the optional gear paddles. So they are plastic but feel really nice and they are rubberized on the back side. So down shifts and then you have the up shifts and then... The only disappointing thing about, you know, new Volvo interiors is that the airbag isn't covered in leather like BMW do it. So please, Volvo, take a note in your, <laughs> in your books to make that leather in a facelifted uh, model because I would really like to, to, to have that leather. It doesn't feel cheap but compared to everything else. It just feels feels just uh, a bit out of place so on the left side we have the radar guided cruise control the adaptive cruise control the pilot assist active lane keep active steer button so you can increase your speed decrease your speed you can decrease your distance or increase your distance to the car in front of you and you toggle right and left for the different cruise control options on the right side we have the voice command we have the trip computer here which you press that to make it pop up and then you can uh, scroll up and down the functions there 
Otherwise, this is the volume button up and down, and then you also skip track forwards and backwards, or radio forwards and backwards, and then this button here is to mute uh, your radio, to mute your song, or to accept messages up there in the digital gauge cluster. Moving over to the center stack, and you know, like everything in modern Volvos, this is just so simple Scandinavian design. You have, as I said, this 9.3 inch touchscreen here, which is flanked by these beautiful vertical vents. I just love the design of them. And then you don't operate them, you know, with the normal, you know, the scroll wheel down here. You have these knobs that you turn, and they are in metal, and they are knurled, and they make a really nice clicking sound, feel very solid and look very nice. Down here are basically the only buttons, physical buttons you have on the dashboard, the hazard, front defroster, rear defroster, skip forwards and backwards. And then you have this beautiful volume knob, which is also knurled and in metal. And it just sounds nice. It's very nice in operation and feels very nice. And then you have a play pause button here. Here you have the interior temperature sensor and this is just a blank button because this would open up the glove compartment electronically in an XC90 but here you have a manually operated glove compartment which is quite large which is felt uh, lined with felt on the inside you also have a pocket up there so it's very usable and also soft touch plastics soft touch plastics down here and then moving over down to the center so there aren't a lot of plastics actually this is leather this is leather this is soft touch plastics, but down here again, we have a leather. Beautiful, beautiful Napa leather on this center console. So this center console is where the T8 variant of the V90 and S90 differentiate from the, the diesels and the gas engines only because you have a different center console here because in the center stack here or the center tunnel, you have the battery pack of 10.4 kilowatt hours, meaning it is compromised on space. So usually you have a large sliding door here which reveals two large cup holders but also more storage here. And then you have a storage compartment in front of the gear selector but here you only have cup holders. So that is a bit disappointing and if you like a lot of center storage that is something to consider. But it isn't the worst of cars. It's actually not bad at all. But if you're coming from a gasoline or diesel powered uh, V90 S90, you'll mo most definitely notice the difference in storage. This being the, D uh, the T8, it also has the crystal shifter from Odefosch, uh, a Swedish crystal maker, which also is illuminated at night. It looks very cool. You double tap it. Uh, backwards to go to drive, double tap it forwards to go to park. I find the operation quite seamless. And then you also have the P there for park. And then here you have the ignition switch, uh, which you turn to the right to turn off the car and then turn to the right to turn on the car. Here you also have the dry mode selector, which is a beautifully knurled metal scroll wheel, which you then you, you scroll and then you press to select. And then you have your electronic parking brake. You have your auto park uh, or auto parking brake hold. And then you have the place where it has lost the most storage. And that is the center console here, which is very beautiful in Napa leather contrast stitching. And it has this very nice chrome uh, release there. But guys, it is very lacking in storage. It has no storage at all. Look how shallow that is. You have enough room for a key, a cable, and some, some documents. You have this strange storage thing down here. I'm not sure what that is, uh, why that is there. But this is where you will be most definitely noticing that you don't have a proper center console. Uh, but you do have USB ports and then you also have a 12 volt power outlet in the rear because usually that would be placed here in the front. So that is the front cabin. You have the frameless mirror. You have the panoramic sunroof. Let's go ahead and step into the rear seat to check that out. So the rear door has the same high quality materials. This also has the manual sun shade, which is very practical. So if you have children, that is highly recommended to keep the sun out. And I'm just totally incompetent. That's how that works. You have 
beautiful leather on top there, contrast, contrast stitching, more of that beautiful wood. You have that metal strip as you had in the front door. You also have the beautiful speaker grill. Actually, you can see the Kevlar speakers there from Bowers & Wilkins. You have the same high quality uh, door release, same soft soft napple leather on the armrest and in the insert but I think this is actually proper napple leather this is faux leather and then you also have that down here in the uh, door pockets you have the same carpeted on the inside and also the rubberized bottom there so they haven't skimped out at all the same high quality materials you also have the illuminated door plate there but let's go ahead and step step inside but I'm just gonna leave the door open because it is a bit cold so the seat back is of soft touch plastics i really like volvo seat backs because they feel of really high quality other manufacturers actually do this in hard plastic that does feel cheap you have a map pocket here and then you have vents on the b pillar for rear passengers but you don't have any vents here you actually even don't have for climate for zone climate control because you can't get that with the t8 you do get well rear seat heaters but it having the t8 with the battery pack eliminates the vents down here and also the rear climate for the rear passengers you have the same soft touch napa leather in the rear seats these are perforated but they are not ventilated in the rear seats and you also have these very practical isofix points for child seats that you know move out of the way like that that is very welcome and you also have an armrest here which you have some storage here. This is a rubberized finish, feels very nice. And then you have this very practical and large storage bin there. This is much nicer than the armrest I have in my XC90. And also you have some cup holders that moves out of the way there. So that is very practical and very nice. But here having the T8, you have this big transmission tunnel. So moving your feet across here, well, isn't the easiest operation and also that large panoramic sunroof from the rear seat so let's go ahead and check out the trunk lastly this has an electric operated tailgate which works like that and the trunk cover bravo volvo moves out of the way when you close it and then it covers the trunk again when you open it that is very very practical so the only thing to you know complain about about this car with the interior space is that it hasn't it doesn't have the largest trunk. I actually only think it's about 560 liters. It's only about 30 liters bigger than the V60, but it is, you know, it is big enough so if you you're not hauling a lot of stuff um you you won't notice it but i usually have our stroller back here with you know some luggage some stuff and i most definitely do notice the difference between this trunk and my xc90 but i also notice the difference between this trunk and the five series i had for a a a week but it's a very nice trunk that is covered in beautiful carpeting as you can see here and why is my camera having problems focusing? Probably because it is dark. Uh, you also have this beautiful trunk divider, which is very practical. I use that a lot. And then you also have a 12 volt power outlet there. And you can also adjust or, or, or fold the rear seats from here. So that is the trunk. And you can also lock the car from here by pressing that button because this has keyless go. So there you go guys, that was my exterior and interior tour of this, the 2018 Volvo V90 T8 inscription with the exterior styling package. I hope you liked today's video, if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.